So I did my presentation on Russell Foster, and he did on why do we need sleep. Um, pretty good speaker, a little older. Um, he grabbed our attention by uh, some sleeping facts. His introductory, in introductory was plain. Um, he did have some jokes and um, some models as well. He did, he did his presentation um, on slides, a brain model, and had some side jokes as well. Um, very monotone, didn't really have uh, any ups and downs um, as far as the Ted Commandments. He did go by 6, 8, 9, and 10. He really didn't waste anybody's time. Um, he was he wasn't aggressive in what he knew, uh, even though he was an expert at what he did. Um, and uh, compared to the school's cr uh, kill creativity video, it was a 360. Um, the school video was very upbeat. He was very um, jokingly with the audience. He was engaging with them. Uh, a lot of a lot of laughing. He grabbed their attention a lot, and just was was very entertaining to keep us as an audience engaged. Um, as far as the the dynamics of the video from Russell Foster, I chose him as a three, um, and that's being fair. It, even though his his idea was interesting and entertaining, I just feel his production wasn't as what it could be. It could probably have been a lot more louder um, and a lot more involving. Uh, he's a neuroscientist, so you know that might explain a lot of his monotone and his his examples and his dry humor. Totally fine. You just have to know as an audience that's what you're getting into. Um, it's just like picking a TV show. That's something that I learned about the delivery based on that presentation, present, present, presenter, there you go. Um, have a lot of energy and don't be that dry guy. Uh, get your audience involved early. Make sure you have their attention um, and don't let their attention span take away from some of the boring facts that you're giving. Uh, based on the facts... Um, that I can give my classmates. Don't say um a lot like I have been doing um, and just have a lot of energy.